to the chickens, going back to the chickens. Um, the chickens are a little bit far away. Let's start the episode. Just going straight back into the mining. Um, so, I would like to find another cave system. If we find another cave system, we can easily... I just saw a little graphic glitch. I'm not going to try and rep replicate it too much, though it does keep fancy my interest. I do know of one graphical glitch I can use to um, easily look through the land. The problem is it doesn't generate all the terrain perfectly. It's very picky about what terrain it wants to have visible. Like, it may have some land shown, some tunnels shown, that have a distance of like medium to long range out. That's not very useful if you're looking for anything directly close or absolutely everything, like anything that's far away, also. Because I know, I know it doesn't show me everything because it had torches in those tunnels deep underground. And it will just show like fires floating all over the place. And the main reason, the only reason why I was using the only glitch I know is to hopefully find the dungeon spawner. Just, you know, a dungeon to get myself, you know, started nothing too you know, reckless nothing too fancy just something that everyone else seems like they can find easily that I can't find at all and like I'm gonna dig right into one I bet right now right now Right now. We did hear some lava, so I'm kind of interested in light towards that. Um, I'm staring at this wall. It's coming from my left. Just put that in there for now. <sighs> dig, 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 dig. Sounds like it's coming towards over there. <laughs> I was right. Yeah, nothing too impressive. Yeah, like I said, nothing too impressive. I like there's more lava over there. More than likely, this tunnel lava tunnel connects to over there, so I'm just going straight. Whoa. Guess he was right. Alright. I'm gonna say I heard more of it going that way. Okay, we're not going down there. I will do that. Ooh, I spy a tunnel. Oh. Oh. 
There you go. Diamonds! There's diamonds! It's hilarious as a death trap. And I'm insisting on pursuing travel through this death zone. Um, there's no other diamonds down here, is there? Right, we do have five. We need two for a bookcase. We need three for a pickaxe. So now we can start a library. Thing is, we don't have we have no cows. We have no horses. So. We, and we have no money, so we have no way to generate leather at all. Fun. Um, if we find a stronghold, we can get books that way easily. If we find a village, we can get books that way. So we can make a village, which is what I was kind of thinking of originally. For now, let's just start off with a diamond pickaxe. We'll worry about the other details in a bit. Because we can start working on what's possible for us right away. And opposed to trying to find it and secure it on our own. Okay, so we have the diamond pickaxe now. We can go get some obsidian. And just leave the rest of that diamond in here. That's not going to worse anyway. Drop off the rest of this extra stone. Mmm, some movement. It's probably going to be more creepers. Do we have enough? Nope. Not enough for a bow. It would be easier just to kill it. We'll have to make this room a little more unique later on. Achievement required diamonds. Acquire diamonds with your iron tools. That's nice. Um, cook up a little bit more. That iron. Oh, that. Stone swords go about to break. There we go. And make an extra axe. He might actually drop a boat for us. Ah, Let's just go off in a direction. 
we'll go straight out for a bit see what's out there I knew that would break eventually. Because if we don't find another biome, it's going to be a little bit difficult to get the required animals. Because it seems like this biome only likes sheep and chickens. And squids, because squids are universal. Oh! See, oh, now it's like because it's loading terrain. There's a puppy. So I shouldn't go up, of course, too much. Nothing interesting too far. Oh. So yeah. So I, this is like the first actual series I'm doing. But I do plan on playing other things as well later on. I was thinking of doing a bit here and there for things scrap mechanic. But I was also thinking about doing a bit of, um, shooters as well, but I'm not too big on shooters, but definitely do a, a series on Stellaris. Don't know if I want to just pick up where I am currently on my current Stellaris, or just say, eh, let's just start over. More than likely there's going to be an update here or there anyway. That I would need to do. It, well, once again, the, the typicalness of saying, "Oh, hey, I'm starting all over again because there were updates and never actually finished the game." That's kind of another reason why I never finished the game of Civ Five. I think the only time I finished it was when it was only on a tiny, dual-sized map. Oh. And nothing interesting. Climb, climb, climb. I see it clearing. It's a good sign. Looks like it's only, um, Birch forest with a dark forest. Not no cave systems or anything else immediately nearby. Let's get a little bit closer to see what we have. So, it looks like it becomes a regular Tagia. Yeah, it says Tagia Hills. It's no longer Mega Tagia. And I, uh, it looks like a little bit it's still right there. And, looks like a desert over there, which is interesting. Pi find a temple. Mountains off over there. I see I'm using the corner of the screen to see a little bit further. An open field right over there. 
I haven't seen them since they updated it. Let's walk across the top of the forest. Be a little bit safer or quicker. Well, probably both. Oh, a swamp. We wanted a swamp. Are there witch hut? Which is a bit interesting because that's the only place witches will spawn. Now they do spawn all over the world, but the only pay place they will spawn and know all the mobs will spawn is the witch hut. So if you have a witch hut, you have a spot where only witches will spawn, which means you can set up a mob grinder just for that one specific mob. You'll still need darkness and everything. And you can control them that way too. But for that small tiny bomb, ooh cows. But for the small little bomb, you can guarantee only which to spawn. So, right here is a nice variety of land. And we didn't go out too far. I think, actually, we went out like maybe 600 blocks if we go a little bit further we can guarantee being able to make a portal that would be nice so there's planes over there where did I see that desert I think it was like over that way yeah it was that way so right over here is a big intersection of biomes. Um, I definitely want some slimes. Being here at night should generate some slimes. I haven't, I haven't really tried a way to get a good source of slimes from a swamp at night. Because the biggest issue, just like any other spawn place is you're gonna have other mobs spawning as well. I think by default the cap is around to 70-ish mark and all the entities include like minecarts, animals, yourself. Um, I think items dropped as well all count towards entities. So once all the entities spawn, no more sp no chances for slimes to spawn, which means you need to constantly kill things. So, and with a big forest like this, you're gonna have to go out and <laughs> go through all the land and keep killing stuff, or keep leaving and coming back to help reset the mobs to spawn. Um, what we'll do right now is it will actually stay on top of the trees for the night. Oh, interesting. It's one of those snares where the water is not flowing into a cave. Cause that's how it was generated. As soon as there's a block update right there, it will stop flowing in. But for now, it won't. I like these flowers. The nice blue ones. So, yeah, what I'm going to do is try to go out straight still. Try to not go too far off course. 
I still want to go of course a little bit to do the required exploration to make sure this is a nice spot also see if there is a spawner or not oops too many but that's fine So I know slimes during the night, so maybe it's a full moon when they spawn the slimes. Uh, nothing interesting yet. Oh, well, it's good to know that I didn't have to come in here. Why is it like that? Come on. Geez, a nice big field. Too bad there's no villages out there to go loot. I like it when there's just grass at the bottom of a cavern. Makes it a little bit more interesting to look at. I'll do that in case I ever go there. It'll help me explore it a little bit in the future. I was expecting a cave right there. Just thought since the other side had a cave, it would probably when it went through. Alright, and that's all I want to do is just get to the other side of, you know, that swampy in this area. Just see what I'm working with. Oh, donkeys! don't see any villages and I don't see anything worth going to immediately the donkeys are interesting though Yeah, there's no witch hut, so there's nothing to spawn the witches. Gain some high ground. Uh, looks like this swamp does go out throughout the river. So... There's always more possibilities of a witch hut spawning throughout. Let's 
Same thing with like down there. So that's good. But no villages. I could go out there and see if there's a temple though. That'd be fun. Yeah, let's do that. Make the make the video more interesting. Cause it's say like, oh we got limited amount of food. Technically. We could just go cook up some of my chicken meat. Um kill off these current chickens. So they don't spawn too many more chickens. Is that pigs? Yeah. It because there was just one above the other, it looked like it was some other kind of weird creature. I'm like, what the heck is that? Like a naked bear that's standing upright. But no, it was just pigs along. Um, still nothing too amazing. I'll take one of these fl tall flowers though. Nothing too amazing over here. Cows. We do need leather. And I did see some closer cows. I would kill the horses too, but I don't think they get much leather. So, I need 15 books. One piece of leather for each book. But, I need 15 bookcases. But, you need three bucks for each bookcase. So in reality that's three times three times um fifteen. And let's just check to see if this is a spawner. It could be. It sounds like it. That's a disappointment. You're being disappointment, zombies. All the 
always. Oh, that's not a good sign. Yeah. Um, this is new for me, seeing sand generate like that. Normally sand always collapses as soon as upon generation. Looks like they took out sand collapsing on generation. But now they give them a particle effect, in indicating that they could fall. They just require a block update to fall. As soon as a nearby block updates, they'll fall immediately. Oh, that's that's convenient. An easy way out. Oh, that's not good. Let's get the heck out of here. Oh, bunny. Um. We need to stay safe. I don't want to get the villagers killed. So I'm running out to make sure that chunk isn't loaded so the zombies don't just massacre them. Because I don't want to unintentionally kill a village of villagers. He's new. I make myself a little like fortification for the night. Ta-da! I'm done.